Cisco SecureX, integration, firepower. All right, we're going to start off in Firepower Management Center. And you have to have smart licensing enabled. So once you've done that, go into integrations and select your cloud region and Cisco Cloud Event configuration and the events you want sent. Once you save that out, let's just jump into integrations. We will look for available integrations for Firepower. And we'll add this module. So it talks about adding um, Cisco Security Services Exchange, right? Uh, and this is going to provide SecureX access to events as well as Cisco Threat Response. Now, when we come into managed devices, it's going to pivot us into Security Services Exchange. And the first thing you're going to do is link your smart account. This is going to allow your Firepower devices to come in. So that's all you have to do there. I didn't walk you through that specifically because it does that. It's pretty good on its own. You're going to enable Cisco Threat Response and you're going to enable eventing. Now, in eventing, you can actually be selective of what... Um, uh, what events you want sent, and then whether or not you want auto promotion. Uh, we're gonna come back to auto promote those events a, a little bit later. Now with Firepower 6.6 um, 6 or later versions of Firepower, you don't need a, uh, a security services exchange proxy. You can actually connect directly to the cloud um, to be able to send those events up. Now, I'm going to log in a, a, a VM that's got a, a script on it that's going to trigger some IPS events. And I just validate that Umbrella isn't working uh, as well uh, for additional testing I might do here. And this particular... Um, script is, is pretty simple. I just looked at some signatures, uh, enabled, made sure they were enabled, and then um, created a connection string that would trigger that, that particular event. So I'm just making some noise here. If we quickly come into events, we're starting to see events come in on Firepower Management Center, which makes a lot of sense. Drill in here, we can see impact score two, that's the event and message. Okay, we'll come back and check to make sure that we have events in uh, security services exchange, but let's first make sure we have managed devices and we can see that, so that's good. All right, so let's add that module for Firepower, right, because we've completed the pre-steps that were required. And let's go into the dashboard here and, and um, create a new dashboard. Maybe this one, we want it to be specific. Again, you're going to play around and, and add the dashboards that make the most sense to you. Um, and in this case, because we're going to create a brand new dashboard, um, I'm going to include all of the Firepower um, tiles that, that are available. But before I do that, again, I'm going to make some more noise here and I'm going to run a script uh, on a Windows box um, and uh, this will create a lot of noise. So this will do a scan and then it gets into pulling um, some bad files down and then going to categories um, that might be uh, something that you want to block. And then it's going to go down and pull down uh, sites from VX Vault and, and I, you know, a couple other places as well. All right, I think we're pretty close here. We'll do a couple of these uh, other high alerts I created. So this one's not enabled by, it's a DNS seed for Litecoin uh, pool. Uh, I went ahead and, and, and enabled that signature as well and just made a connection string to it. Now just refreshing the events, now we're starting to see intrusion blocks and IP blocks and you know it, we're starting to see some good noise come in here. So if things are working, we should start seeing these events show up in, in Security Services Exchange and, and you just saw the page already had some on it um, and we're starting to see them uh, come in. And so um, 
from here, what we can do is actually see the event details, which is pretty cool. Right, right from here. And I have the ability to, um, you know, from here, promote the incident. Um, and when I promote that, that what that's going to do is actually send it into incidents under Cisco Threat Response. So I can work on it as a, you know, a responder. And I can promote it from that icon as well. And you can see now it says promoting. Now that'll turn to yes and green once it's promoted. Again, there's a couple places that I can do promotion or promote that event. Again, you can see the two of them here are being promoted. I, again, th this will take a, you know, a couple seconds uh, to turn to green um, and, and it'll say yes. Coming in at our dashboards here, as we're making some noise, let's um, let's just refresh this, and we're starting to see, you know, those two events that were promoted. Um, we also are, will start seeing, you know, Talos I, IP reputation. So we can see eight good ones so far, and then you can see some intrusion uh, tiles now starting to populate. Now from here we can launch threat response and go into incidents. And it, once those incidents have been promoted, you can see a couple here that I've done. Um, but as they're being promoted, um, they'll, they'll start populating in here, right? And then as a responder, you can work on these um, and obviously get a different perspective by that visual that investigate provides you. Again, I can see the uh, actual incident um, items that, of interest, sightings and observables and targets um, right from here as well. I can assign myself to this specific event. And you can see here when I generated an investigation, you can see there's a lot that's happening, right? It's pretty noisy. Um, so um, what you might want to do is uh, filter it um, or throw it up in a, a large screen, right? So kind of detach it just like I did here so you can see it. And you can see there's a lot of red here, right? And these are, um, you know, part of that script that I'm running. Uh, if we look at the IP address of that host and go back, you'll be able to see exactly what they're, what what that script is doing, right? It's actually going out and 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 calling. And we can pivot. And there's that yes I mentioned on the incident. We can pivot very quickly from the platform as well, right? Now let's go into cloud services within Security Services Exchange, and we're going to auto promote, okay? And here you can you can select uh, by intrusion rule category. Uh, if you hit the plus sign, you can see them all here. Um, you can add there. I just added MySQL as an example. And you can save that. And then as events start to come in that match whatever you're auto promoting, um, you should see that um, they'll turn to that yellow um, kind of uh, that yellow indicator that says promoting and then uh, eventually it'll turn to green saying yes it's been promoted just like here see at the top you see promoting happening and when we start to refresh here we should start seeing events start to come in so if we go back and look we can still see that these are promoting now I just did a, a you know little refresh here and you can see yes so we got seven events we'll do a reload here of the page a refresh of the page and now we see 11 events and again now i can work on each one of these right and you can start seeing the security intelligence is really populating now and so is uh, the other tiles as well right now let's look at an incident itself and so we see these next gen IPS events trigger and you know you get a little bit of information here and 
again more of the same here this is the same type of event and you can see here's your targets your observables the timeline the sighting itself right so details about that specific sighting here uh, driven out of the event I can assign myself it says assigned And now I can see in that list assigned to me, which events have been assigned to me. And now I can pivot into investigate. And here I'm zooming in on that specific host. Now this is that uh, Kali box um, talking to a DMC server. And so it doesn't have as much noise as that other host, right? Because I'm not running that massive script. And if I look here, I can also come in here and you know block this domain if I wanted to. And as I do that, you can see it gives you a, an update on the side there that that action has been taken. I might want to create a judgment. Maybe this is my own internal intelligence that suggests that this is bad. And, and so I want to, you know, use a traffic light protocol and call it Amber and um, and give it a, a reason why I might want to change the disposition here from unknown to malicious. Um, and, and so... I could add that very quickly to the investigation and when that generates the difference now is is that you're going to see this is red right and again you can see the relationships between ips and hosts that can make the connection between these again very visual and i can see this private intelligence around this and the disposition as malicious and the length of time that this would exist Right, you see verdicts and sightings and indicators as well here at the uh, within that um, specific URL that we're looking at, and so from here I could change the status and and click close. Maybe I've got enough information here um, to do that, uh, and 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 maybe that's all I wanted to do. On the other hand, though, you could actually come in and create a case book. But before we do that. Let's quickly look at the dispositions. These are the public ones, um, which is interesting here. I wonder, this would be a great place maybe to look up domains too um, within ThreatGrid. I've not used it for that. I'll, I might look into this a little bit more, but here's my private intelligence and I'll, I'll delete that judgment. Um, Maybe for whatever reason it became clean based on our intelligence and um, and so therefore we want to remove the, the negative judgment against it. And here we see an event as well. A um, little bit more of the same. So case books I'll, I'll show in another video. But um, anyways, that's a little snippet of the integration between SecureX and Firepower.